Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to do a brief addendum to the balancing and probability video, and we're going to look specifically at die rolls. Nothing new here, just some fancy counting really. So a lot of games have you roll dice and try to hit a certain number or higher to get successes in the games. So in Summoner Wars, for example, players need to roll a three or higher on a six sided die to get a success or rather to inflict a wound on an enemy. So let's look at what that means in terms of RNG. Let's start with something easy. What are the odds of one success on one die roll? That's not even fancy counting yet, that's just counting. There are six total options here and four of them are a success, so the chance is about four out of six or 67%. But what about one success on two die rolls? Well, try to figure it out for yourself here and just pause the video for a second. You might be tempted to solve it like this. It's a joint event because both rolls are independent and they can occur at the same time. So let's get the chance of a success and the chance of a failure and multiply them for a total of 22%. And that would be incorrect. While it's easy to think this way, you forgot about the fancy counting part. You need to go over all possible outcomes of your die rolls, not just one good one and one bad one. So this illustration was actually a bit of a trick. These are not all the possible outcomes by a long shot. In fact, I should probably have started with this illustration. And if we add the actual possible outcomes to that, it looks a little bit like this. When you roll a die, you really create a multiverse. In this case, we create four different timelines. In the top left timeline, we rolled no successes. It's the worst timeline because everybody's wearing goatees here. In the top right, we rolled a failure on the first roll and a success on the second. So this would be the most dramatic timeline. Bottom left, we roll a success and then a failure. This is a slightly disappointing timeline. And in the bottom right, we roll only successes and live our best lives in the best timeline. Now you might think, is there really a difference between the top right and the bottom left where we end with one success? But yes, there is. And it's not just for mathematical purposes. As I mentioned, the emotional outcome is vastly different between these two. But all jokes aside, we can do some proper fancy counting now. So we have one additional layer here as only three of these four scenarios lead to at least one success and we can get rid of that worst timeline to calculate the answer to the question. And with that, we can also see the full picture now. While the individual die rolls are joint events, rolling two dice is a disjoint event as the four resulting scenarios cannot occur together. In other words, as we multiply the odds of the individual rolls to get the probability of each scenario, those are joint events. Then we add all the scenarios together because those are disjoint events and we end up with about 89%. Now doing this manually for many die rolls can take forever. So it is good to know the mathematical shortcut for this. These are called cumulative binomial random distributions and binomial describes binary probability in a finite sample. So in this case, it's either a success or a failure, true or false, a binary probability with a finite possible outcomes as there's only a certain amount of possible outcomes here. You can read about that more online if you'd like, but you can also use the following tools. In Excel, there's a function for calculating these outcomes, but it's a little counterintuitive, so be careful with that and make sure you know what you're doing when you use it. Alternatively, I like to use StatTrack.com, which has a slightly more easy calculator to use. So visiting StatTrack, we can click on the binomial stat tables and we'll get a calculator as well as a helpful fact and some sample problems if you'd like to do some further reading on this. So if we wanna solve that problem with one success and two die rolls, we can basically use this calculator and do it a lot quicker. So the probability of success of a single trial is four out of six or 0 0.6666667. The number of trials here is two because we're gonna roll our dice twice. And the number of successes we're looking for is one. And when we calculate this, we get a number of options. So the first one here is when the amount that we have rolled is exactly the same as the number that we were looking for. So the chance of literally rolling one success out of two trials would be 44%. However, that's not really what we are looking for. We want one or better. So that number would actually be the last one where the amount of successes that we roll is higher or equal to the number that we're looking for. So the answer, as we already calculated manually, would be 89 or 88 and 889 
percent. So the calculator is super helpful and can do these kinds of calculations really quickly for lots higher numbers as well. For instance, say that we have an enormous unit in Summoner Wars that has 150 dice to roll, but we're also fighting a behemoth and we need to hit it 100 times, what would the probability of that be? It would be about 53%. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. I'll see you in another video. Bye-bye.